Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are driving on the Southern Coastal Highway. This is the road that takes you from Harborview in St. Andrew to Portland. Now the road is split up into sections. The section from Harborview to Yalos is four lanes and this is the section we are driving on now. Now, they announced that the section of the road leading into Mark Bay was going to be renamed the Paul Boger Highway. But they said the section leading into Marant Bay, that section it would be from Yalos to Marant Bay, it's going to be two lanes. This section from Harborview to Yalos is four lanes, and then in Yalos it goes to two lanes and continues to Port Antonio. So guys, do you think this section of the road from Harbour View to Yalos should be named the Andrew Holness Highway. Now, Mr. Holness was very instrumental in building this highway. In the same way that PJ Patterson was instrumental in building Highway 2000 East West Leg, which has his name, the PJ Patterson Highway. So, what I recommend or our suggestion would be name the highway from Harbour View to Yalos, the Andrew Holness Highway or the Holness Highway, and then the section from Yalos to Marant Bay, the Paul Boger Highway. And then you're still going to have the section from Marant Bay to Portland. You could name it, give it another name. Now, this road has opened up St. Thomas, and this current administration led by Andrew Holness is responsible for it. Guys, we are not a political channel, but this administration did put St. Thomas back on the map. They built this road, they built the Marant Bay Urban Center, and they are now expanding the Marant Bay Urban Center. They put St. Thomas back on the map. Now, St. Thomas was a forgotten parish. That was a nickname, the Forgotten Parish. Nobody wanted to do business in St. Thomas. None of the large franchises because to get there was so difficult. Look at what you have to drive on now. A highway that you'd find in a first world country. Guys, do you remember that long winding road full of potholes? It was torture to drive on it. So nobody went to St. Thomas. No. Everybody wants to be in St. Thomas. The only place in more demand than St. Thomas is Draxel. And that's on the north coast of Jamaica. Everybody wants a location in St. Thomas. So the government built the Marant Bay Urban Center, where the old Goodyear factory used to be in Marant Bay. And it sold out. They expanded it. It sold out. And now they're going to be adding more space to it, 10 more acres to the urban center. Companies like Hilo, which were never in St. Thomas before, now have space there. KFC was never in St. Thomas. KFC, the number one fast food chain in Jamaica. I don't know if Juicy Patties had a store there, but they're now setting up one in the urban center. The tax office. The courthouses, universities, BPOs, commercial places, Hearts, NCB, all in the urban center. And if the urban center had more space, a lot more people would be there. Literally, St. Thomas is on the map. St. Thomas is now open for business. So that is why, and we have to thank Mr. Holness and this administration for that. And that is why I think this section of the road should be named after him. Now, I believe every prime minister in Jamaica should have a road named after them. A highway, I should say. Everyone. And where the prime minister was instrumental in building the road, like the PJ Patterson Highway and Mr. Patterson, I think they should give that name that road after that person as a priority. So since... Mr. Holness is instrumental in building this road. I think this section of the road should be named after him. So just to summarize, Harbour View to Yalos, call it the Andrew Holness Highway, 
Yalas to Morant Bay, call it the Paul Bogle Highway. And then Morant Bay to Port Antonio, you can call that section by another name. All right, guys. Thanks for taking a tour with us today. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. And leave your comments in the section below. All right, guys. Have a good day. Thank you.